So before we start, you want to get your light bulb and a ruler. First, you want to measure the length of the light bulb, then the width of the light bulb, and then the base width of the light bulb. And note down all of your measurements somewhere where you can find it easily, as you'll need this for later. And make sure you met your measurements are in millimeters. Once you've done that, you want to have your sketches ready. This is my normal sketch, and this is my engineering sketch. Then go to Tinkercad. Change the view to flat view. And then go to cylinder. Move it to the middle. Increase the size to 64 so it's smooth. And then go back to your sketch, the engineering sketch. So we know that the height here is 150 and the diameter is 150. So we'll go back to our Tinkercad, change the height to 150, press enter, change the size to 150. Ooh. Move it to the center and zoom out. Once you've done that, you want to go back to your sketch. So we know there's a big gap here for the light bulb, all inside. And it may not be labeled here, but our wall over here is five millimeters thick. And the top bit here is 10 millimeters thick, which is this part where it holds onto the light bulb which is shown right here. So we'll go back to our sketch. Now we want to cut a shape. So go to this cylinder, move it right there, increase the size to 64. And first we have to cut the big part as we want to leave the top part to be 10 millimeters. As we want to leave the top wall as 10 millimeters. And the size is to be 140. And the other side to be 140 as well. As our wall is 5 millimeters thick and there's two walls. That's one on this side and one on this side. So 5 add 5 is 10. That leaves you with 140 left. And now you want to click on both of the shapes. So click on this shape first. Hold down shift. Click on the other shape and then you want to go to align up here to align the shape and then click on the orange one or the main one and then click on this black dot right here that will move it to the center there and click on this black dot it'll move it to the center here so if you go to the bottom view you see that it's right in the center and to cut it, you want to press group. And now we have a hole here. And now we need to cut the top bit, which is this bit here. So how to cut that bit is that you need to go back to your measurements. So our width is 50 and our base is 27. So the diameter of this little circle here has to be between has to be between those two numbers. Ideally, so I'll have mine as thirty four, as it's about the center of the two numbers. The two numbers. So go to cylinder, click there, increase your size. And then change this to the number that you want. I pick 34. And then you want the height to be 150 as you want to cut the top. And now again, we want to align the two shapes. Hold down shift, click on this shape, and go to align. And click on the orange shape first. 
and go to this dot here. Click on that. As you can see, it moved down. And then click on this. It will move to the center. And group them together. And that's your first part done.